Welcome back to another rig review, and this time I'm gonna take a look at Brawler. Brawler is a rig by built by Colossus. You can see here $15. You can go into their website, link in the description with all the information they have, also other rigs. I reviewed the Ninja rig, and next up will be the Lizard rig as well. Of course, this will be posted on my Animation Buffet site, where you can find all kinds of reviews and just rigs that are posted without reviews. So if you have anything that you want me to look at, post and or review, send me an email and I will take a look at it. And of course, you will find all of these on my animation channel here where you can find acting analysis clips, animation analysis clips, all kinds of things. So browse around. If there's anything you like, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button. All right, that is the rig. Full disclosure, I got this for free to review. So this is a version that I received to download. In the version that I have, there is nothing here in the channel. So there's nothing to be selected or to hide and could be different in the version that you are downloading. Now, let's look at the main controller first. As always, you got the a big one here. You can move the character around. There's nothing here in the channels, but you can scale. And as you go in here, you can select the inner one. That's another controller. And as always, as you watch my reviews, you know what I'm doing with this. I can bring them down for a different pivot if your character has to fly around. Mm. All right, start with the foot. Select the foot controller and you have that here you can move it around as you can see the knee follows sometimes it doesn't in this case it does but you also have options to do it with that pull vector here going back just to see what there is you have a upper length and lower length so you can change the scale on all of these now as you go back you can see here that little round button that gives you the ikfk switch stretchy bendy and preserve volume bendy is already on you can see this here the bendies are these so you can reshape all of that of course that's on both legs and to go back, if I select this and stretch it, you can see what happens there. So let me select that little guy. You have the stretchy off like that, and you have preserved volume on off as well. And since we're there, might as well select it and say IKFK switch. So boop, you can see this, how it switches. Let me go like that, you can see it better. You can see the little toggle there. It's tiny, tiny, but you can see here in the color. And as I select this, you get your classic FK legs you got to go in there so you're not selecting the bendy there you go that's for that and of course your foot controller zooming in you have this controller here you can see that is for this rotation in all kinds of axes of course then you have one more that does all of this let me just double check not no scale and then you got your pivot off of here and of course all kinds of pivots here for that and if you select this one you also have foot master that does all the banking for you, which is really cool. Let's go this way. It gives you the foot roll as well. And if you do the foot roll here, you have your Z multiplier and X. So this depending on what axis you go, but you can see this in Z, how it changes the limits. That is that for the foot. Like I said, you got your bendies here. Then you have this for your pants. This goes all around. And you also have one here. So you can change that around. This is of course on both sides. Then as we go up here, we go to this lower one. That is your hip. Kind of scrunches the geometry there. Watch out. But you have that in all axes. Of course, you can translate. And actually, you can... No, you cannot scale. <laughs> then the yellow one. This is the root FK spine. So you can select this. And you can, of course, go up and select all of them. And ah, it does that. Going in here, these are usual shapers for the hips or hip clavicles which is not accurate but that's what i'm going to call them then you have your root so you can move that guy around here you have an offset control you turn that on you can see this again here beep, beep. so then you have multiple controls which is cool and just like with the foot you got a control here and that is the ikfk switch so now it switches to that and then you have your hips like this with to me slightly better transformations there Ooh, but you can do this dance man then you have this here and you can translate to reshape. If you rotate, this happens. And then you got your upper chest box like that, which I'm personally a bigger fan of than all those tiny controllers on a spine. And that's very cool. Now going up here, you have shoulders. So you can rotate it like this, but you can also translate. Now this is in FK mode. So let me just switch here to IK FK switch just to see if that is there, I'm almost kind of looking out for rigs. No, there's no auto clavicle or there's nothing in the channels. Just to let you know, if you select the shoulder here, there's nothing, you just have these. But going down here, you got your bendies, bendies, 
Again, you got a control here. So this is your elbow pin. Yeah, yeah. And actually, speaking of which, I missed it here. Bam, knee pin. And also you have spaces, right? So you have foots on off and world on off. So when you grab this foot, let's show this here. You can go back and you select your hair foot, say off. So now when you turn this around, you can see that it does not have any effect here. So you can turn this on and off. And same thing for the world. So it can turn that on off. And you can see here if I turn the foot around, then you can have, go back to the foot here, you can see the changes here, how it affects the controller. So these are your switches. But going back up here, again, these are for your arms. So you got your elbow pin, same thing, local and world switches. Then you got this guy here with this around, that is your almost Ninja Turtles shredder. So they are, reminds me of Ninja Turtles. But you got your bendy, even though this is a hard surface, it's always cool to be able to deform things. Then you got your arm control, and this is currently selected as an IK controller. So again, you can pull this around here. And then as you go back, let me just show you here, this one, you will have stretchiness, yes or no. The bendies are on. Preserve volume, yes or no. There's an auto twist. So actually, hold on, let me just go back here. And let's go back in here and you can see this also on that controller. You got an auto twist. So if I take that and rotate around, you can see how it deforms this. You can see auto twist beep, on off. So if it's off and you rotate around, it's just that. So this stays really true to its heart surface properties. That's very cool. Then of course, selecting this, you got your upper and lower length, all of that as well. There's a wrist roll, that's cool too. So when you have your hand on the table or something and you can do that, I think that's very cool. I haven't really seen a rig that does that. I like it. And going back to here, you have also IK for fingers, yeah, yeah. Just in case, I think that's very cool. Bring these back, and then you have chest and world space. So I can rotate this around, so despite this being IK, the arm goes with it, which is always cool. And when you go around up here and you select, well, I don't want it to be the chest, I actually want to be nothing. You can see how that arm stays. So it stays put where the world is and you say world off and chest on again you select this and it's going to stay within the chest orientation all very cool these are space switches someone asked me to elaborate on what space switches are there you go of course fingers you can select these separately so i can select this this and this and it has all rotations ah we are here though and it gives you just like with the foot some options this is a immediate rotation for all fingers and you can go in all axes so this way it's actually just the fingers this is also the thumb and this way is also just the fingers this reminds me of some animation i can't remember you have a thumb follow yes or no so when i do this it will not do anything on the thumbs so this is your thumb follow you also have scale for a spreading so interesting control Unusual to see it done like that, but I think it's fairly effective. I like it. You have also here, not to forget, you can see them here. You got your controls for the base here, and then you have the IK wrist sub control. What would be awesome, and this is what I'm hoping that every rig does, is that when you select this and you move that around, that your wrist does not stay put. So there's a FK wrist option while the arm is in IK mode. That would be awesome. All right, of course, arms, this is on both sides. And since this has this here on both sides, yes, it will be here as well. Let's go up here to the details. Maybe I should have them lean less. All right, the head portion here, we got the lower neck. You can see that moves with the pivot fairly low. Then you can go one up and there you go. It moves it like that. Still takes a lot of that muscle geometry with it. Womp, womp, womp. And then, there's one here and that gives you this control. And then there's one here, another one. And this one has the chest and world space options here. Go up here. That gives you control visibility on everything here. Face control on off, geometry on off, joint visibility, which I'm not needed. Lock the geometry, ah, beep, there we go. And now you can select it. Beep. And then proxy geometry on or off to make things lighter. Very cool, lots of cool options. Now, if I select this here, that's your squash and stretch. My first instinct was to select this for the head, but no, no, no. So when you look at this is your head control, you have all those options here, but just in case you have this for your squash and stretch, you have a bottom version. This is for your jaw and you have all of these here. So you got your jaw opening like that. This is your mouth 
like this. And don't forget in the channels, you got your lift control, get closer here. Then you got your corners of your mouth to quickly block out things like that. This is no transit, this is rotation. Only, there you go, this is your cheek, only one axis here, of course, on both sides. This is your inner nose and also scale. And this is your outer nose that takes the whole thing, also scale. Then you have, these are your eyes, not anything in the middle. These are actually your eyes to move both. This one will move the eye socket and this one will move just the eye here. You got some scaling options as well. This is for your pupil. On the outside here, you got your eyelids. This is then on the outside of the face. These are the lids. So you can open, close it like that, obviously on both sides. That is the overall eyebrow. And then you got, of course, one, two, and three to move these separately as well. This main controller here just moves the main controller. <laughs> this doesn't do anything with the face. But let's go in here. So let's go, why not? Let's go here. Eyes, you can move them like that. Also, space switches here. And then, of course, separate eye controllers to move them like that. Let's go in here though. Select this. And you got your draw control like that. Let's go here. This one will move the whole mouth around. And this will be the upper lip. And this will be the lower lip. Let's open the jaw quickly. Why? So you can see this here. So that will be your teeth. Can move this around? Can you scale? You can, just in case. And then in here, you have your tongue controls. So you can do that. Of course, here are your separate controllers. Whoa, that's me. There you go. It takes it all like that. That's me moving things a bit too crazy here. Anyway, you have it like that. And then you can go out here and that for additional movers. It's all very detailed here for extra skin deformation, which is cool. Same thing here. And then if you want to do any shape changes, again, you can do this all here. It's very cool. There's one more control here. This is the jaw inverse. So this is, ah, do something like this. It's kind of cool. Can you scale? No, no, this is just purely rotation. Now looking back here, you never know anything on the back. There is nothing on the back. All right, pose this guy out. A couple things that I noticed here, when you do grab this one and you scale, you scale this up and down. You can see this little pops there in the knee. Watch out if that does anything when you animate. But the main thing is, ah, ah, the ears, the ears, they scale up as well. So it's all the way back down. This is back to one and the, scale, the ears are fine. Also to mention, they do have controls. This is why you can move your ears, but when you scale them up, watch out for that. Other than that, it's very quick to pose out. I'm a big fan of this here, where you can quickly pose out your hand and do a little fine control with these. And I'm also a big fan of that, just to quickly move your the mouth around, just for quick posing. I think everything works really well. You have lots of options there, and it's overall a very cool rig. If you get in here, when you take your FK arm here, you see, you have to be careful in how much you rotate. Of course, this is a hard surface, but you're gonna start getting some candy wrapping here. Watch out for that. But it's light, it's light to move around, it's light to pose around. And I think that concludes my overview of this rig. And of course, this review will be posted on my channel. Feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do all kinds of things, not just rig reviews. So if you want to see more like animation analysis clips, acting analysis clips, product reviews, animation minutes, all kinds of things that I post on there, feel free to do so. Other than that, thank you for your patience and watching this until the very end. And I will see you in my... Hold on. I will see you. In my next clip. It's actually cool when you push up here that it compresses the lips here too. Anyway, I'll see you in my next clip.